Well, hello, Calvary by the Sea. It is good to be with you this morning. This is Pastor Moses, uh, pronouns he, him, and his. Uh, and it is good to be with you. I'm the senior pastor of Calvary by the Sea. I just got some quick announcements to share with you. Um, firstly, let me just say, oh man, the last two weeks, um, the last two Sundays, we've had 10 new members join our spiritual family. We've had you know four baptisms out in the water. And it's been amazing. It's just like, wow, like it's so cool. Like all of our people who are joining this family are such cool people, like so awesome, right? So shout out to all my people who are new members, Rhonda, Beth, Mark, Aiden. Yes, a young person, I love it. Um, you know, Nate, Nate's my boy. Uh, and, uh, and Addy, it's great to have you both. And also um, Tom, that's my boy too. Um, and, and then Bill and Kay, uh, it's just so awesome to have you in our community. Unji, uh, man, it's just like, wow. It's just so, so, so cool to see you all step in to the family and excited. It's really amazing time to be at Calvary by the Sea. I'm so blessed by you all. Um, Feeling a little better, but not a hundred percent. You know, this 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 cold thing, it's not it's not good. Uh, but it's good. It's all good. It's all good, right? A um, couple of things. This Sunday, All Saints Sunday, it's a day where we get to remember our loved ones, those who are now resting in the with the divine. And I just invite you to come, and we're going to be lighting some candles and remembering um, our loved ones. Um, you know, I think of of even now my my grandmother and my great-grandmother um, these women of prayer that i get to remember them um, so come this sunday at 10 a.m all saints sunday um you know another thing that's happening in the church is, is bill beckemeyer our brother bill who last sunday told us about living out of an abundant mindset and um, to give in 2024 in such a way and I just want to say thank you, Bill, for what those words. And, um, you know, just want to remind you if that that giving in the church, you know, um, I always say, you know, if Brenda, uh, my wife, by the way, if I brought Brenda flowers, right? And, and I said, Brenda, I'm bringing you flowers because, uh, you know, I do it reluctantly because I have to, I don't really want to, but, you know, here's your flowers, right? Uh, out of duty, right? Um, she probably won't want those flowers. Um, but if I come and I say, Brenda, I brought these flowers because I was thinking about you, because I love you, because you're so important to me. I've been thinking, you know, I think she's gonna really receive those flowers with such like joy, right? I, I sometimes imagine that that's how the divine, that's how God looks at our offering when we give. It's like, do we give out of like just abundant uh, thinking about uh, a spirit of abundance of generosity because that's the invitation that's what it's all about um you know i've been part of like small churches right where it's like you know maybe 25 30 members and we were all kind of just regular folks right working class people but when we all brought our monies together when we all said when we all committed like we're all going to give you know whatever it was right together the way it just grew the way it just expanded that little bit of money that we thought was little somehow god took that and multiplied it like by 10. and i can't tell you how much great work we did as a small little church plant crave life you know who you are crave life that's the beauty and that's what this invitation is about the white envelope that contains kind of like the letter of the year we did last year. It contains a form to, you know, do you want to give to Tylee to Simply Giving? It's like all that stuff is, is there as resources. But the invitation is to live into that kind of like when we come together, when we all give, whatever that amount is, by the way, it's like somehow God takes that faithfulness, that love, that genuine desire, and just multiplies it, it makes it like a hundred times more than we could ever imagine. That's 
what the invitation for Abundance 2024 is all about. And I would love for you to participate. I would love for you to be part of that this new year. If you're new, please join. If you've been here 20 years, please join. It's about collectively we doing something good in this world. And we all know this world needs love. This world um, needs to know what love is. I want to know what love is. You know, it just wants to know and we need to show it. So Abundance 2024, check it out, participate, fill out your generosity card, generosity card and turn it into us so we can get a, 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 a number together so that our budget can be put together for 2024. We would really appreciate that. Um, another thing, there's something called The Connection, just The Connection. The Connection is a place where you can go and eventually it'll be a place where you can go and connect with anyone in the church. You know, um, anyone involved in the church, anyone who's willing to share their information. Um, and maybe you might be able to find someone who has the same affinities as you, maybe is into surfing or maybe is a pickleball player or maybe is, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe enjoys sunsets and goes every, you know, I, I don't know. But the point is that it should be a connection place where we can connect with each other. Uh, hopefully everybody will upload a card. So there'll be a link that will be sent to you um, through the Calvary Caller, but you should also get it through email or other forms. And this link, you just put in your information, takes like less than five minutes, and that information will eventually be populated into this larger kind of like um, document that we could all access as, as, as supporters, friends, members, um, active people in this church. So, um, yeah, like, you know, sometimes I don't even know, like, did you know that that person was a, a doctor or a lawyer or, a you know, a, a teacher or something like it's like we need to make these connections, friends. So the connection, if you get that and you hear about it, like fill it out. You could go even to like our little VRC card and you could scan it with your phone and it'll take you to a place where you can easily fill it out. So that's that, the connection. I think the other thing that's coming up that's pretty cool is the ecumenical service. We're having one for Thanksgiving. Ecumenical meaning just like a, a, a variety of traditions coming together. So our Episcopalians, um, uh, our uh, United Church of Christ, our Methodists, uh, and the Lutherans, we're all coming together and we're going to have this worship service on Tuesday, November 21 at 7 p.m. here at Calvary by the Sea. So it's going to be a night service. We're going to be having it. It'll be an awesome time together. You're invited to that. Um, and then lastly, uh, November 26, which is the last Sunday of November, we're just asking for anybody to stick around after church because we're going to decorate. You heard me. We're going to decorate for Advent and Christmas. Can you believe it? Like Advent and Christmas. Wow. So we're going to be decorating the whole sanctuary, all of kind of the space outside and just making it an, a beautiful space for our season coming up. And we'd love for you to be part of that. If you want to be part of that, please also sign up. There'll be a, a sign up sheet at the Welcome Center on Sundays. OK, I think I covered everything I could <laughs> as fast as I could. It is good to again be with you. May you today enjoy your day. May you know that you're loved, that you're that you're welcomed, that you're safe. Um, you know, we're entering this beautiful season in the church. And I, I just encourage you, invite a friend, you know, invite a coworker, invite um, a family member, invite your neighbor, like literally the person next to you. Like this is the thing about uh, um, faith and about church and about like, this whole experience, they always come out with these surveys every year. What is the number one reason why people don't go to church? What is the number one reason? It's actually quite fascinating, but it's quite simple as well. It's because no one invited me is the answer. Do you believe that? Like every year the answer is no one invited me. That's why I don't go to church because no one invited me. How about we change that narrative this year? How about we invite somebody? And what's the worst thing someone can say? Like, oh, thanks, you know, uh, maybe not this week. Or they might say, yeah, of course, uh, where do I go? Like, you know, you know, the point is you make the invitation and you trust God. You trust God. You trust uh, this holy flow that is making all things new. Um, and sometimes we've been put in places to just be able to do that small invitation and that small nudge. And then people come and they discover the divine in us. 
and we have something beautiful to offer. We have not only Jesus, who is the savior of the world, the hope of the world, but we get to lean into the essence of the divine, where everyone is loved, everyone's included, whether you're gay or trans or whether you're black or brown or Asian or of any other descent, like whether you are young or old or whether you are, you know, Republican, Democrat, uh, whether you're not even into politics, whether you are, it's just like the invitation is for all. Because, you know, I've always wondered heaven, what would it look like? I don't think Kevin will be like, oh, hey, all the black people are over here and all the brown people are over there and all the white people. No, no, no. I think heaven will be a, a mixture, a blend of all of that together, all over the place. Messy, wild. But isn't that where the divine permeates? Hmm. In the most messy of messiness. And even in our lives, when we are in midst of some of the most messiest things in this world, right? When we make mistakes, when we are uncertain, when we say things we shouldn't say, do things we shouldn't do, it's like in that messiness, the divine appears and loves us back into neatness, into goodness, but also sometimes just is with us in the midst of all of that gives us enough love enough care enough support so that we can make it another day so my friends may you know that god loves you may you know that you're not alone may you know that if there's anything you need please reach out um and we and, and, and know that you're loved <laughs> have a wonderful day Hope to see you around, you know, next couple of Sundays. It's good stuff. Uh, and, and, and have a good day. Much love, much love. Take care. Bye-bye.